see me I say, you know, say, it's me, a DJ Farmer. I did the teacher. Five scar then. Well, boss. Well, boss. This man needs no introduction. His work speaks for itself. Oh, Vibes Cartel is currently the most popular figure in dancehall, which is highly impressive considering he's been in jail for several years now. Today, I'm counting down the top 10 Vibes Cartel songs. This list is based on impact, quality, and you know, some of my personal favorites. You may not agree with me, and you know what? That's all good. Why? Because I'm not give a fuck. Zine? All right. I must say though, creating this list, it was very challenging because Cartel have like a large catalog of iconic music. He's highly versatile, which explains, you know, how he's remained relevant for more than a decade. Warning! I'm going to cuss up beer bad word on this and are the explicit versions of the song them I'm going to play. So if coarse, violent and sexual lyrics and a your thing, I'm going to beg you kindly ease out. Zine? Alright, let's begin. Coming in at number 10 is Hmm Hmm. This song was one of the biggest hits of 2017. On this track, Cartel is giving us the remedy to procreate. In other words, breed gal. <laughs> Who knew Cartel was a fertility expert? This song came at a perfect time for Cartel and his fan base when critics began to question the quality of his new material. The song's experimental sound really stood out to me and that's why it's one of my personal favorites. Oh, oh, here we go. Coming in at number 9 is Summertime. On this track, we see a departure from Cartel's signature raunchy style to a more pop-friendly sound. Summertime dominated the airwaves of summer 2011 and has continued to be a fan favorite. Coming in at number 8 is Clark's. This song was one of Cartel's biggest hits. It not only dominated the local charts, but it boosted his international appeal. It spent 40 weeks in the top 3 US reggae charts and it was featured in numerous international TV programs. It also made stars out of Vanessa Bling and Popcorn. Yo, after the song did Just Boss, everybody did want a clocks. Everybody. Thus proving how influential Vibes Cartel is to our Jamaican society. Coming in at number 7 is Startwell. If you don't know the classic, you are too young. Startwell is one of Cartel's signature tracks. It is one of the hits that led to his rise to prominence in the industry. On this track, Cartel shows his blinding confidence as he makes it clear that although he's new to the game, he's here to stay. Clearly Cartel is a prophet. Jano, where is the lie? When I watch your boyfriend, so it was in the beginning, so it being the- Coming in at number six is Virginity. On this track, Cartel tackles the early and downright awkward stages of sex between a young couple. He's reunited with a past fling and decides to take a trip down memory lane. While the lyrics are hilarious, they are grounded in reality and caused a ton of controversy, as many people believe that he was promoting underage sex. Up to the time, timeless. Coming in at number 5 is Tech Buddy. Cartel's breakthrough hit. The song I had no business singing when it first came out. On this track, Cartel is willing to provide for his lover, but she has to give in to all of his sexual demands, like taking dick. The misogynistic nature of the song was heavily criticized in the media. It even spawned a counteraction from Maka Diamond. Despite all the negative attention, the song still received praise from numerous critics for its innovative production at the time. Me personally, I love how unapologetically raunchy the song is. Cartel never did a try to put you up a thing, right? And one can argue, say, the song started a trend where artists became more graphic when addressing sex in their lyrics. 
Coming in at number 4 is Ghetto Youth. On this track, Cartel addresses social issues currently affecting Jamaica. He pleads with the young men living in inner city societies to make better life choices. The song is a stylistic and thematic departure from his usual sound. He is able to convey the vicious cycle of poverty without coming across as too preachy. Coming in at number 3 is Real Bad Man. You ever know one party and the DJ played a song here yeah? and you just feel like a real tugs? <laughs> Yo, that's how hype this song will get you. I have a feeling say a church sister would have bust some blanks just because that song yeah, play. I tell you, that's how hypnotic this track is. Cartel's lyrical skills are on full display here and is a favorite among the Gaza crew. Like, you can't be a Gaza fan and you know, you know like that song here. Yeah. Coming in at number 2 is the iconic Ramping Shop. On this track, Cartel engages Spice in one of the most X-rated lyrical tangos ever. This song is basically them professing their love of fucking each other. <laughs> yes, you heard that right. This is probably the closest we'll ever get to a dancehall love song. Cartel and Spice have great chemistry here, which led to numerous rumors of whether or not they did the deed. They have both denied this, of course. Cartel tends to outshine a lot of the artists he's featured with on a track, but this isn't the case here, as Spice never backs down to Cartel and he even hits him with some punchlines of her own. This song dominated airwaves in Jamaica and was highly controversial. It was later banned from being aired on television and radio. The use of the 